Welcome to our new Excel tutorial. Previously, we have created a tutorial regarding automated daily time record. But some people ask how to isolate the 1 to 15 and 16 to 31 cutoff period. By the way, I would like to thank those who have liked and subscribed my YouTube channel. At pasensya na rin kayo kung bago lang tayo nakagawa ng video tutorial regarding sa mga katanungan nyo dahil medyo naging busy po ako. Sa factor tutorial, Marami ang nagtatanong kung paano i-isolate ang 1 to 15 cut-off and 16 to 31 cut-off period. Our criteria should be the ordinal number of days. But obviously, we cannot uh, use these numbers as a criterion because 1 to 15 and 16 to 31 are separated by multiple cells. So we have to make both sets as a whole or single criterion. The solution to this is to create a name range to make it whole. And we can do that by selecting the numbers we need for each set and assign a name on the range. So, gagawin natin yun by, by uh, selecting these uh, uh, numbers ng day from 1 to 15, ito yung ating magiging first criteria. And then, pupunta tayo sa formulas, name manager, click natin yung new, and then, lagyan natin siya ng uh, pangalan. So, we will use a first cutoff. So, by uh, Ang name range ay hindi tumatanggap ng uh, uh, non-permissible character aside from underscore. At hindi rin tayo pwedeng gumamit ng uh, number sa unahan. Kaya ginamit natin uh, yung mismo word. So we will use the first cutoff and then click OK. And then close. Then we select the second set, 1631. Again, tayo sa name manager, new. And then we assign a name second. Cut off. Then click OK and then close. Then gagawa tayo ng criteria dito using this box. So, Lagyan muna natin siya ng uh, label. So, punta tayo sa data. Data validation. Any value. List. And then source ay uh, first cut off. Make sure na tama yung spelling nyo sa binigay nyo pangalan. First cut off, comma, and then yung pangalong criteria, second cut off. And then click OK. So pag kinilig natin yan, meron na tayong dalawang criteria. Yung first cut off, ito yung 1 to 15, and the second cut off, ito yung 16 to 31. Next, ang gagawin natin is to select these cells which are covered by uh, 115 cut off so i-exclude natin yung numbers na yan kasi kailangan mapalabas din natin yan sa printout kapag uh, kahit uh, blank yung cut off ng 115 so pupunta tayo sa home uh, conditional formatting manage rules and then new rule i-click natin use formula to determine which cells to format and in this box format values for this formula is true type natin equal and then click natin yung cell containing the criteria and equal to uh, second cut-off since ang nakaselect natin ay yung first cut-off so dapat baliktad kasi ito yung aalisin natin once na nag-select tayo ng criteria dito whether it is a first cut-off or second cut-off okay, second cut-off close in double quote then format Automatic, papalitan natin yung color ng white. Okay? And then OK, and then apply. So, makikita natin, nakaselect yung second cut-off dito, makikita lang natin is the second cut-off period. At yung first cut-off period, yung 1 to 15, ay wala. Hindi natin siya, uh, hindi siya mag appear when we print this uh, DTR. Okay, click OK. Next, select natin yung 16 to 31 cut-off. Again, excluded yung 16 to 31 uh, ordinal number. Then, punta ulit tayo sa conditional formatting, manage rules, new rule, do sa formula to determine which cells to format, then click uh, this box, then type natin ulit equal, then click the, cells contain, the cell containing the criterion, and then equal to first cut-off naman. First cut-off. Format, color, palitan natin ng white, and then click OK, OK, apply, and then OK. 
So, pag sinelect natin yung first cutoff, ito lang yung lalabas. Wala yung nasa second cutoff. Second cutoff, first cutoff. Okay, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and thanks for watching.